Hello, my name is Nathan Rossman, design engineer working with Paul Downs Cabinet Makers. Uh, Burns, Michael Kimberly, thank you uh, folks for allowing me to uh, present a option for a conference table for you folks. Uh, Mr. Paul Downs founded the company 35 years ago. Uh, one of our clients, uh, Mr. Lippincott, asked Paul to uh, design and fabricate a board table, uh, which we did, a beautiful custom uh, conference table, one of our first. Uh, we put that image on our website. And lo and behold, Google decided that anytime someone would search for a board table, they would return that image. So we found our focus, and Paul uh, decided that we would be, uh, become custom conference table manufacturers. So here we are, thousands and thousands of tables later, uh, and you know, thousands and thousands of extremely happy customers later. Uh, we are uh, here in PA um, building and fabricating, designing uh, custom board tables. All of our products, all of our um, materials uh, coming right here out of the States. Um, so uh, with that said, let's dive right into your project. Uh, Burns contacted me uh, with uh, your situation, uh, looking for a table uh, that would seat um, 10 to 12. And so what we've got here is a table that's 120 inches long by 16 inches wide. Uh, two people at either end and then four along the length. Um, I did take the liberty and drew a room uh, to present this table. This isn't necessarily your room, but this room allows me to create um, some photorealistic renderings so we can give you guys a good sense of what this table will look like uh, when it's all set up in your space. Back to that table design. Got several scenes here, scenes that I'm going to go through. Um, we've got two power and data ports, one at either end. Uh, these power and data ports uh, are flip up. So uh, as we get close and take a look, they open and close just by pushing on the top. Uh, when you open it up, it reveals two power, two power in USB. Each of these power ports has a standard 72 inch long cord uh, on the back side of that power port. Uh, the logo itself, uh, this is inlaid uh, aluminum. It's a brushed aluminum. Uh, this will be uh, uh, glued to a panel, inlaid and flushed to the surface of the table. The, uh, the champagne uh, metal logo itself uh, will be etched using our laser. There's a picture of our laser. Actually, this is brand new. It's about a week old. Uh, the way that we would do your branding uh, is actually we would use a ceramic glaze. It's a material that you brush onto the, uh, onto the aluminum, uh, and the laser then burns that material and basically bakes in small crystals of glass that then sort of embed and bake uh, the branding into that into that metal. So we would be doing uh, the logo uh, in a similar fashion uh, to what you see there. Um, materials, uh, the tabletop itself has a, a three inch wide by inch and a half thick uh, solid edge. So uh, we've got the field of the table, which is here, field. We've got the edge, this is solid wood. So solid sapele with a, a bull nose edge profile. Um, so materials that we will be sending you, actually I'll get these out today. So we're looking here at this group, we've got uh, the aluminum that will be used for the logo. This is the uh, sapele, which is the wood edge, ebonized black finish. And then I've got a group of laminates that we would use for the field of the table. Um, so one of my favorites, or two of my favorites are here and here. Uh, these are Wilson Art and Formica laminates. Uh, and they are embossed with a wood texture. So what's nice about that is you see the pitting, the grain structure of, of what would be uh, seen in natural wood, but this is in a, in a laminate, which is highly durable, uh, so that over the years, uh, this tabletop, the field, uh, will not pick up surface scratches uh, like uh, natural wood material would uh, over the years. A couple images showing the power and data ports right here. Um, you can see when it's flipped open, it's a nice black uh, finish and then the silver uh, on the top. Um, Burns and I talked about some options. Uh, a couple in particular is uh, if we wanted to take the base, uh, which is right now tapered and black finish, uh, same finish as what the field of the table would be. Uh, what if we took that, <coughs> oops, excuse me, and we <coughs> did a matching metal base. So this is an option we can do. There's an added cost to that, and I'll be reviewing that uh, in just a second. 
And there it is if you want to see that detail in the room. Uh, other options we could do with this design is on the top, if you wanted to, we could add a metal inlay to the border of the table. So we, if we wanted to, we could do metal inlay like that. It makes it just look a little bit different. Gives a little bit more of a pop. Uh, this is also an added expense uh, that we uh, would go over with you guys. Uh, so I think now's a good time to, to talk about pricing. Uh, we, uh, I'm going to be sending this quote to, uh, to Burns. Uh, so uh, what we have here is a description of the table. So this table, as shown here, with just the metal logo and the two hatches, one on the other end, $5,899. That pricing includes palletized shipping direct to your location, includes detailed assembly instructions, as well as phone support, should you need to pick up the phone and, and, and have us sort of help you uh, assemble that, that product. Uh, alternates. The metal inlay we talked about, if you'd like to add that, that's an additional 934. That's the half inch inlay around the edge. If you wanted the base uh, to be uh, metal and metal accents, that's an additional 1,374. Uh, 3, 1, um, a little bit about our process. Uh, we do re require a 50% deposit to get this project in our queue. And so what that means is once it's in our queue, I then hand off uh, this, uh, preliminary drawing that we've got here to our project management and engineering departments. Uh, it's those folks who do the heavy lifting. Um, what, uh, what they will end up doing is creating a formal document that will have uh, all the details, uh, renderings uh, of what we intend to do uh, with the table. Now, uh, what's great about this is uh, we don't do anything until we get your approval on this drawing. So should you look at this drawing and decide that you want to make the logo two inches longer, half inch thinner, or you want to make your branding a little bit bigger, um, that's, this is when uh, we make those changes for you. So it's just a matter of reviewing the drawing. If you want to change something, emailing Andy Cole, the PM, and he would make adjustments accordingly. Uh, minor changes require no cost of adjustment, major changes in size and design. Uh, that's where you would get a cost uh, adjustment. Um, a little bit about our shipping process. Uh, so um, everything leaves here um, extremely uh, thoroughly packed. Every part and piece has a, uh, its own box uh, that's wrapped in foam before entering that box. Each box then uh, has heavy-duty cardboard corners applied. All that is shrunk wrapped and then strapped down to a pallet. And that pallet is then uh, wrapped in a OSB crate. Uh, and so this is how all parts and pieces would ship to your facility. Other uh, details worth uh, looking at here, uh, past projects fabricated in a similar fashion. Uh, this is a project called for Intelligenesis. This is a large U-shaped table. Uh, materials are very, very similar to what we're, we're describing and presenting, um, just different colors, uh, of course for some of these details. But here's a, a look at uh, that brushed aluminum that we would be using for your center panel. Uh, the feel of the table here, this is a laminate. Um, it doesn't have that embossed texture that I was describing. Uh, this is a, a, just a different laminate that was selected by the client. And then you can see we've got a three inch wide, by inch and a half thick solid edge around that table. And you can see that design uh, from a different vantage point. So this is, uh, what you're looking at here is assembly photos. Uh, before anything gets packaged and shipped, uh, we will set it up for final inspection and take pictures. Um, so this is just, again, part of our process. Uh, there's actually two assembly processes, one before it goes into the finishing room, and then one right before it gets packaged and shipped. So uh, these are some assembly photos uh, that we're looking at here. Uh, every one of our tables, uh, you know, if you look through, uh, there are pictures for every single one of them. Um, you know, with, you know, here's some of the assembly photos from the client they sent us, uh, but this is a nice uh, inlay on the edge and uh, center logo panel you can see there. Um, just one example of a table of similar size. Um, so other things I just want to mention, uh, you know, we are fabricating everything here in the States. All of our products are, are, are built here in, in, in the States. Uh, I just wanted to be wary of things that you're seeing online. Um, I've been doing this a long time. 
And uh, you know, a lot of our competitors out there who would have tables of similar price are uh, things that would uh, look something that could look like this. Uh, it's the client that called me and said, hey, Nate, uh, we need a new table. We just ordered this. Uh, this these folks paid $5,000 for this table. Uh, and so uh, they found it online. Uh, it's definitely not made in the United States. And um, you can see here that uh, when they set it up, there's a big difference uh, to setting up one of our tables um, uh, here at PBC. Um, I think I did not touch base on the structure a little bit. Let me go back into uh, our structure and how our tables are fabricated. Um, so three inch wide by two and a half solid edge uh, would be glued onto an inch and a half thick um, sub or core for the tabletop. Um, this table itself is all hollow for wire management, the base structure. Um, we also incorporate steel strut that runs across our bridge units. And so this steel strut will also ensure that uh, you get plenty of support and also allows us to create a smaller base so that uh, we, the base is out of the way so it doesn't get into anyone's leg space um, that would make it uncomfortable for, for any reason. Um, every pedestal, the two pedestals, has a removable access panel, uh, also levelers to ensure that this thing's perfectly flat when set up uh, in your space. Um, all the hardware uh, is gonna be integrated into each piece. So turning off the top, turning off the, uh, these chairs, um, and let's change this view. So the bridge unit you see here, um, the way that it ships is this bridge unit will have uh, hardware that's gonna be integrated in it, large hand knobs that will be located in these parts and pieces. And so when you uh, assemble this, um, the pedestals will locate to the bridge unit with uh, dowels and large hand knobs will secure the bridge unit to the pedestals. So. Uh, all the hardware is integrated. Actually, this table uh, wouldn't require any tools other than a level to assemble um, and maybe a socket set because we're going to uh, have some bolts that go through the steel to the underside of the top. But um, yeah, this will be very, very simple to go together. Uh, you would likely spend more time unwrapping uh, than actually assembling this table. So um, just wanted to say a real quick thank you to everybody allowing me uh, the opportunity to present this design. Um, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to uh, ask Burns uh, to get, uh, pass along my information. I'd be happy to pick up the phone and, and discuss this with anyone uh, who might have any questions. Um, okay, thank you folks, take care.